What's up guys, Jake Lowry here, and today we have a very special video. I don't know if you guys can hear that jingling, but Mr. Tony is going to be hanging out with us today. But that's not why the video is special. Well, maybe it is. Today I'm going to do a spinner fishing versus fly fishing challenge to see which of the two fishing tactics is better in a pressured pond during the spawn. The reason for this challenge is my experience. When I used to go fishing when I was a little kid, there was a pond near my house, and at that pond we'd fish almost every week and the bass got really hard to catch there until one day we started fishing with the fly rod and all of a sudden we started catching those fish that were hard to catch again on the fly so let's take a look at the two rods i'm going to be using today and then we'll start fishing for a fair comparison i thought we'd take a look at two lures that were pretty pretty identical in either tactic so the lure i'm going to be using with the spinning rod is a four inch high tech swim bait and then the lure i'm going to be using with the fly rod is about a four inch inch streamer looking thing and they're both in a very similar color gray top with a white belly as far as rod versus reel the fly rod's obviously a lot more expensive but i don't think that's going to give us an advantage either way generally fly fishing stuff is more expensive than spinner fishing stuff this whole setup was probably a hundred dollars and this whole setup was probably closer to four to five hundred dollars another thing that i feel like i'm good to assess this challenge with is my skill i feel like i'm evenly skilled in both disciplines so it'll be an even factor if i was a much worse fly fisherman versus spin fisherman i feel like it would be harder to judge based off of this challenge so the rules are going to be pretty simple today i'm going to fish with either rod for one hour and we're going to see which one catches more fish we're going to fish in the same exact spot i'm going to give the fly rod first because i think the fly rod will spook less fish if i'm throwing it in there and they're not biting if i do end up catching more fish on the fly rod in the morning we might have to switch locations in the pond but i'm not going to leave ponds after we're finished those hour if the fishing's really good i'm gonna stay and we're gonna use the one that catches more fish so stay tuned guys i think it's gonna be a killer day and i hope you guys want to find out which is better tony what rod do you think will work better the fly fishing rod or the spin fishing rod okay he said fly fishing guys i agree with tony all right guys got the fly rod out water conditions look really good let's get a one hour timer started and then we'll start fishing as soon as we can uh get this timer started all right guys one hour timer started let's start fishing should be spawn conditions right now in texas we just had some crazy rain though so i don't know how that is going to impact the fishing the name of the game today is to be get to be getting as many casts as i possibly can on the fly rod reason being is because one of the biggest differences between a fly rod and a spinning rod is going to be how many casts you can get in in x amount of time but if i can get just as many casts i should have good odds to beat the spinning rod with the fly rod again guys this is my second week in a row fly fishing so i should be getting better every time let's see what happened okay good i thought my fly was messed up Nope, this tail just has a lot of action in a way that almost feels like this rod is messed up, but I don't think it really is. Reason I chose this pond is because I have a lot of space to fly cast and the fact that it's pressured. It's probably the best example in my area of a pressured pond. Sometimes the fishing can be too good in Texas, um, but right now there's three other people here. So for how populated my area, that's pretty, pretty pressured. I'm also gonna cover ground. Reason being is that I think the fish are on beds and if they're on beds, I'm gonna to have to spot you know, where their beds are. If I can't do that, I might be unsuccessful and it might give an advantage to either one. Also, I'm trying to train Tony to be a fishing dog. He's been slightly difficult so far today. Kind of gets a little far from what I like and he's also closer to a road. So we'll see how he acts, you know, the longer we go through today. Tony, come. This spot is pretty close to the road. Come, come. He only comes for treats. I don't know how we're gonna get him to listen there. Um, Tony, come, come, get off the road. Sit, good boy. You can't run away that far, okay? I might have to take Tony back home and, and restart this hour because so far he's being not good. And maybe if you just hung out by me, you'd have a little more fun. Not even, don't even think about it, Tony. You're not going in after that fly. Tony, no, no, no. Come on, there's alligators in here. 
All right, guys, there's been a slight change of plans. We decided to drop Tony off just because he was being a little too distracting to really test out this challenge. And I also ended up going to a different spot, but we're gonna do the same exact thing one hour with each rod. I'm at a spot in Southeast Texas. You can kind of see the pond through the woods there. And this pond will be a lot cleaner and clearer, which will give the fly fishing a better chance to work. That other pond, it had just rained the past couple of days and it was really, really muddy. And I just don't think I was gonna catch fish on either setup there. We're gonna see if this spot is any better. And again, same rules, one hour, either rod. We'll see if fly fishing or spinner fishing is better for these high pressured fish. I thought it was a bunch of turtles guys, but look at that bad boy sitting on the log. That is so sick. He is a lot less timid of me than the turtles are too. And look right there. That is no bueno. I'm in a freaking nature documentary right now. You better watch out, ducks. All right, guys, I made it to the spot. Water is freaking gin clear, so already feeling much better than I did about the spot I was just at. Let's start the timer right now. One hour with the fly rod. We'll try and uh, see if we can pick up any fish, and it'll be just solely a numbers game. It looks pretty shallow over here, but I did just see something splash. So let's get cast into it. This pond is much more swampy than the pond that I was at earlier, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna be good. Hoping, you know, with this clearer water, I'll be able to spot more fish on beds and eventually go to bath today because we got to prove some point that either is better. Okay, this would be a really good spot for a fish to be spawning. Using my experience from the last time I fished up this pond, I know it's like very, very deep right in this back little corner. So I'm gonna stay back from the bank, cast directly in there, see if we can potentially trick one of those bats to hitting this fly. Fortunately, it's pretty muddy at this spot, which is not good either. Just can't seem to escape that storm that we had the other day. Really seemed to have jacked up the fishing. Right, I'm gonna have to use my casting skills here to try to avoid these snags. <clears throat> I think the conditions definitely are giving the spinning rod an advantage because it's pretty hard to catch fish on a fly rod if the water's this muddy. Okay, perfect cast, guys, right underneath that bush. Finally have room to cast. I got a crosswind, guys. So what I'm gonna do is cast with the crosswind and just cast backwards. Perfect. Sometimes it's a little easier just to do that than fight the wind and try and not hook yourself in the ear. I've done that many a time to where I've kind of learned that lesson. It's a shame though, because this is like one of the only open spots in this whole pond. I still have to make adjustments. You can see this, I'm down to my backing right there. There's a backing knot. Let's see if we can cast the whole entire fly line with this nine weight fishing rod. I've never done this before, so it might be a little bit of a challenge, but let's see. All right, this will judge the rod, the line, and most importantly, my ability to cast. Oh, I hit the grass. Okay, first attempt at the whole fly line challenge, complete failure. Okay, so I got about 10 feet left on that. Let's bring it in again and see if we can do it a little longer. Ah, casted literally about the same exact distance last time. That might be my max, about 10 feet less than the whole spool is kind of where I'm at right now. I'm gonna give this maybe three or four more attempts, but I'm still gonna fish and we will see if we can do it. Can't even catch a dink with the fly rod. That's usually what it's good for. Oh, okay guys, look at that cast. Right in the shade, right in the shade. Yep. Oh my gosh. This is a freaking snag hole. Oh no. I thought that was a freaking fish. I can't see the snags. All right. Yep. There it is. 
Let's see how much time we have left on the clock for the fly rod. 16 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer with the bass rod for 43 minutes and 11 seconds. And if I don't catch anything on that, we're gonna call it a challenge. If I do catch it on that, I might finish out that hour. We'll just wait and see. Real judge is gonna be how long it takes me to catch a fish. Stay tuned guys, the challenge isn't over. We might have used the shittier rod first and the better rod might be waiting for us to kill. Set the fly rod down for a second. I got 43 minutes and 11 seconds on the clock and the spinning rod picked up with a nice looking Kitek with a nice jig head on it. So we're gonna start the timer and see if we can catch anything in the same amount of time that we fish the fly rod. Three, two, one. All right, we're off. If I catch a fish immediately on this, I'm gonna be pissed. Then it's probably some sort of external factor. I'm not sure how well this rod is. I kind of forgot there's a loop in it, but that shouldn't matter for today. All that really is gonna matter is whether or not I catch a fish. If I lose a fish because of that loop, I think I'm gonna count it because that is an external factor. Just to prove to you guys how much it rained, this right behind me is usually dry. And now it's a freaking flowing creek. I mean, I would, consider that almost a river at this point. It must have been multiple inches of rain across the whole portion of the state that I'm in. That happened two days ago. That will really shut down the fishing along with a spawn. I'm gonna let this thing sink all the way down to the bottom in this corner. I'm kind of hiding in the shade. So if I'm spooking fish, I won't spook them here. Uh oh. Oh no. Got it out. <sighs> that hook is bent completely flat. All right guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get it done today. I think the conditions were just freaking terrible. We had a crazy big rainstorm, like multiple inches of rain two days ago. Since then, I think all the water in these ponds rose. They got real murky and I think it shut down the fishing. We also have high pressure right now, so there's no clouds in the skies. That is generally bad for the fishing, especially post storm. I guess the point of the video was to prove to you guys that bin fishing was worse than fly fishing in these ponds. But all I proved to you guys today is that I don't know how to catch fish. Pretty good concept in theory, but we didn't get it to work out. I'm gonna keep uh, that idea in the back of my mind and maybe we'll try a part two of that video where we can successfully catch a fish and maybe we'll fish for a little longer. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you next time.